nonetheless, uh, he wasn't happy about that. Something to do with me being a map hacker. Hmm. As you can see earlier, I was plenty scanning. I do get a lot of bad man opponents, and uh, that's why I like to upload these replays with these bad man opponents, because they're just funny, and I think people enjoy them, really. It's quite satisfying to beat a bad man opponent. Uh, a bad man opponent. There we go. So, we can see that my opponent... I'm starting to say opponent has rather a lot. He's getting himself a lot of gateways, because he's let his minerals get out of hand. I think his macro is slipping there, what with the battle. As for me, my macro has been fairly good. It could have been better, but when it gets to late game with Terran and all these different buildings and all this shizzle going on, it can get a little bit hectic. But for the moment, I think I've been quite good with my macro. Got an observer here. Unfortunately, I allowed it to basically scope out exactly what I'm building. I'll get myself a couple of Vikings as well, because if he does continue to make Colossi, which he probably will do, because they're quite a large investment, so if you're going to make Colossi in the first place, your opponents will probably continue to make them. And we can just about see a Dark Shrine going off here, so that's very interesting. Ooh, Dark Shrine. That's going to pose a lot of trouble for myself, unless I can get some Missile Turrets up or some Ravens. So, I just want to speed up the little gameplay a little bit here, because there is a scan that I do that goes off and sees this, which is very fortunate. Ooh, it's going to come at some point. Where is it? Where is it? Maybe it was at the start. Oh, there we go. Yes, that's why you scan with Terran. So, I scan the front and I scan the back, because there is a lot to scan. Now, I could add a couple of mules with that, but with two expansions, or two bases rather, I felt like it's so crucial to know what your opponent is doing. That was worth way more than 540 minerals that the two mules would have brought in. Just those two scans right there. Really just the one. I didn't need to see the bat, but I got paranoid. So anyway, says a lot to me. Dark Shrine spells a lot of trouble. He's got himself a pile on here. I should have been scouting a lot more. I do scouts on the right hand side. So I leave an SCV going around the side, so it goes to one expansion, as you can see he's pathing into the next expansion. Usually I would do the same to the left hand side, but I obviously let my macro slip in that turn. So that's a little thing for you. Make sure you've got like SCVs or Surgeons or cheap units. Just scan around the map. It saves you a lot of time and a lot of hassle really, rather than finding things too late. These Dark Templar, even though there's only two of them, are going to go through those destructible rocks like very quickly. They do a lot of damage, 45 damage, incredibly good harass units, as long as they're not seen. Now, I did know he's got a Dark Shrine, so it has made me panic, but I didn't think he was there. Now, I've just brought my SUV just to scout the destructible rocks in case something was coming, and it just got killed before it could get the sight, but it did get killed, so that does say to me that I'm going to have to pull back my army here, which is rather unfortunate. What I should have done is lifted up all my army into the Metafact so I could get them back quicker. That's a little obs observation there. Luckily I've got a siege tank here in a nice comfortable position, just to sort of get a bit of range here. He's going to be able to poke out those Dark Templar, but I'm going to need to scan again because I haven't got my missile turrets up. Only one at the front, just to make sure that no one can get through the middle of the base. He's my tanks are actually TKing my SCVs a little bit here, but thankfully Medifex seem to heal SCVs, so I don't think I lost too many there. Nonetheless, his, his um, assault there was... Uh, Thwarted, and he's going to start to continue to build units at his base instead. Looks like he's mashing up a nice little army. But he's going to need to do that because I want to push out. I wanted to push out before. I believe I've got myself a tank to go with this. Yes. A tank, really, uh, preferably I'd rather have a few tanks to go with this because it will give you a much comfortable holding position. But I had to just go really with this. So one tank is better than none. And it gives you a nice comfortable feeling of security really. So my opponent's getting himself more gateways because he's started to saturate his mineral fields finally now. But it's been a little bit too late what with all the harass I'm doing. And I've also had to bring over this raven. Because obviously I can't build missile turrets everywhere I go. I can, but it's going to be very costly. So I had to get myself to a raven. And they're rather costly themselves and they take a while to get up to. Especially when you build yourself starports and get yourself reactors. And then you're like, oh great, now I've got to get a bloody tech lab with my starport as well now. Just for that raven. But there you go, that's the way the cookie crumbles, and an attack is inevitably going to go down here. Tank's going in its place. Here comes his army. Oh, this is good. Stim pack for me. I've got a good position here. Vikings are getting lots of shots here on the Colossi. I'm moving my army back a little bit, so I can try and bring down those Colossi before they can do too much damage. He's got himself a high Templar, but it's out too late. So this is all too late at the moment. It's going very comfortably. Vikings have now gone into ground mode because there's no need to have them in the air anymore. 
combat shielded marines with stim pack and medifac. It's beautiful, really. A tank and Vikings. I've got the whole shebang here, really. I give him the GG, and he says, "Stuff you know, lucker, map hacker." And there you go. There's a bit more of that bad manner for you. So thank you very much for watching. This has been witty. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.